We're backstage at Park Life Festival 2016. Uh, the weather is broken, it's lovely, and so we're here to, uh, to see what the vibe is, talk to the people, and have some fun. Uh, it doesn't get much better than this when you're uh, you're being driven around park life by Sasha himself in a VIP buggy. So we're uh, we're going to go over, and, funny enough, to the VIP area, see what the gang's doing over there. Oh. Well, so far, Sasha, this looks like biggest and best yet. Is that fair to say? I think so. Apart from obviously the bloody weather. I mean, I've been sunbathing in the garden for the last three weeks. We opened the doors yesterday to let, and it pissed down. Yeah, but it, it makes it more Manchester. And at the end of the day, in fairness, we've got some really good sunshine here, and it doesn't seem to have bothered anybody. I mean, everyone's having a great time. And do you know what? I think we opened the doors, it was pissing down, but then Manchester people, the spirit's different. You all get together, it's like one big family. All right, you're, you're wading through mud, but no one actually bothers. No, exactly. A couple of drinks, a couple of vodkas, and then crack on with And it's the festival spirit at the end of the day, which, which you've got. No, I know, we're just there. Uh, Year on year, you've always got to beat your last year, so yeah. myself and Sam now are already thinking about next year. Well, yeah. talk, talking of how good it got, Chemical Brothers last night, and I believe you were in the crowd. How do you know I was in the crowd? Yeah, mate, I've got Mr. Dean's game, I've got my spies. Unbelievable. I mean, they've it, it, it played this before, but um, DJ and I'm like, last, last night was something special. I mean, it was, I couldn't understand why two guys would have five Arctic lorries. <laughs> one show. And then when the doors opened, I saw the production, I completely got it. I mean, it was, it was ridiculous. I think certainly Chemical Brothers is something. I, I know, I know, I, and everybody's raving about it. I've heard some great reviews, so the guys were obviously on form as well. Oh my god. Have we lost you? <laughs> I love it. We get, a, we get a fairground ride. And so, what's uh, what's different this year? What what's uh, what have you mud. learned from last year? The mud. Mud. <laughs> yeah. A lot of mud. <laughs> oh. Mind the mud. I mean, I'm trying. I thought I could balance because I had to. That was it. So. Thanks. And her as well. Thanks. <laughs> Big supporter of Manchester bands, but Manchester band was storming it yesterday, hearing people saying really good things. Blossoms, Blossoms yeah. apparently were just nailing it. But yeah. also, our mutual acquaintance Viva Emma is uh, headlining a VIP. Yeah, tonight, yeah. And she's she's you know she's doing incredibly well now. She's playing all, all over Ibiza this year. But you've been a big supporter of hers yeah, for she's, years. She's playing. Uh, she's doing high down for us as well this year. Is she? Yeah. Yeah, she's incredible. She's got a real energy. Hi, gorgeous. They're over there. Uh, okay, thanks. <laughs> Yeah. So, uh, no yeah, idea. no, she, she's closing off this stage tonight. Yeah, no, it's going to be brilliant. Do you know what? It started off as uh, a student festival six years ago, one day, 20,000 people, and it's now two days, 75,000 people. It starts off just Manchester, but people coming from everywhere. Yeah, uh, you know, right. It's, it's so it's bigger, bigger the, the world gets around, because Manchester is the place to party, it's the place for music, we Manchester's know that. Manchester's the clubbing capital of Europe. Well, and, many, and in many ways, thanks to yourself, I might have to say, no, for the well, events you put on. But going out, I am out a lot. How are you still alive? I don't drink anymore. Don't you? No. Actually. So you're just naturally mad. Just totally crazy. Great. Well, listen, I wish you all the best with it. It's a great, it looks like the biggest and best so far. I'm going to go around and interview people, find out what they're up to, but I appreciate Thank you giving us the ride. Thanks a lot. See Cheers, man. <laughs> So I've been wandering around Park Life, and yes, it is as crazy as ever. The mud isn't so bad. I don't think people are that put off by it. We've got Katie B up there um, rocking it out on the stage, and she's pretty good. And there's loads of great and cool people. So I've got to say, for me, this is Manchester's biggest festival, probably Manchester's best festival. But with me not drinking this year, it's slightly weird. But perhaps I'm enjoying it just that little bit more. So uh, we're going to go and talk to some people and see how they're enjoying it too, make sure it's not just me. But if you've not been before, and you get you know some negative press around, part life don't listen to it get yourself down here find out for yourself because actually it's a really cool vibe it's in uh, 
I went, Look at these. I went in everywhere, and then literally I went to Primark, and they were like, we have got one pair in size A. Uh, 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 uh. What do you think of part life so far? The past two years, I think this is the best year so far. Yeah, great guy. Where have you travelled from today? From Ireland, man. To for this festival? Yeah, man. And why didn't you go to a festival in Ireland? Why did you have to come to Manchester? Because this is the best. Because this is the best. And it must have been the highlight of the show. The highlights so far. Probably the highlights for you, lad. Yeah! Yeah, man. Any dick pics? Dick pics. Later. You love that? I'm here. Trek Fest. And loads of amazing people, including Emma, yes. went on there. Yes. And how much money did you raise for charity? We raised 10 grand. Yes! That's amazing! Thank but you. But was it just like a little walk in the park? No, it wasn't. It was a trek. It was a trek. Hey, I'm having a fantastic time at Parkland this evening. It's been a really good weekend. Brilliant time at Parkland. You did. Why didn't you leave your light on for me? Why did no one leave the light on for you? I know. Guess what? My favourite Indian restaurant. Scene is doing food, so that's uh, that's pretty good news, and I think that means uh, curries all round. Hey, how are you? Jenna, Come you? to say hi. Hello. How's it going? It's all right. Hi, hey, how are you? Uh, 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 I don't know what it is. A chicken, well, a curry burger. So, uh, cheers, guys. Mmm. Mmm. <laughs> That's like really lovely. The soul execution is aimed. Get together and we build in a fire. fire. Clear smoke and it's taking us higher. higher. Hands up, everyone is one. If you see yourself making it, you see in the sun. Metropolis under edge of control. They take our money, but they won't take our soul. Uh, so, yeah, it's been a good part of life. I think uh, it's all about to get into the nighttime vibes now. Uh, where we're just going to end up dancing rather than interviewing and talking to people. So uh, it's been all in all pretty amazing as usual. And uh, all that remains to be seen now is uh, what the moves are like, how DJ Emma's set goes later with Girl on Sax, and uh, how hard and how long we can party for. Thanks.